I'm on high here. We're, uh, we're talking about uh, trolling motors today. Um, uh, we're avid fishermen. We, we get out on the water a lot. We're, we're pretty rough on trolling motors. We beat them up pretty good. We are tough um, on trolling motors. And we, we put them to the test every time we get them out there. And What we're working on today is a Mencota Ultrax. Um, had some issues uh, with it out on the lake on a few trips. and. Uh, Noticed we were flying down the lake yesterday and we noticed that there's some water coming out of the head unit up here. Shouldn't be any water in this thing at all, sealed up. So we're going to crack it open and uh, see what's inside. How it's going to take it in. So we found in the past that the thing has started making rattling noise out in the water. And uh, we just simply loosened the hardware up uh, here on the front, drained the water out of it, put it back together, and continued fishing because. Who wants to end the day just because the trolling motor wants to shut up? Not us. Mm -mm, not me. Nothing is worse than getting spot locked on where you want to be. You're over the fish, you're hanging out, and all of a sudden your trolling motor starts going. Nah, 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 nah. That's what this guy was doing. We was on 10 and the thing wasn't moving. We just drifted right off the fish, man. That's very, very frustrating. And it was one of those days the oh, fish were just eating them alive. My, hand, oh, my arm still hurts <laughs> from them. That's why I'm wearing a brace. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this thing's grinding and moving, and we had to shut the, sh shut the day down. It was over. The day was over after that. That's happened a couple of times with this Minn Kota uh, Ultra. It's very frustrating. Um, we're new to this kind of technology. Me uh, and Hyde and I, man, we're used to going out with a regular old trolling motor. You know, yours was just a regular handheld manual tiller trolling motor. We were we thought we were cool when we had a foot feed. Now we got stuff that will spot lock you and put you exactly where you want to be every time. And that's what this was supposed to do for us, and it has failed us. It's a great starter piece, great little thing to get started with. Sorry, Minkota, but that's what it, what it is for me. I'm moving up. Now we're going to take this thing apart. We're going to fix it. We're going to get it running. Well, I'm not doing anything. It's probably going to do everything, but I'll be a good tool monkey. Uh, we're, we're going to take it apart, we're going to get it fixed, we're going to get it ready. We're going to stick in the garage for when my new Garmin force trolling motor comes in and I get that thing installed. That, I think, is like going from, I'm, I'm anticipating, going from like AAA ball to the big leagues is, what I, is the way I'm looking at it. Because we're also running Garmin Live Scope. We're also running Garmin chart plotters on front and back of the, of the boat. So... Why not get the Garmin Force to go with it? And that way, when I get out on the water and I want to go to the hot spot, I can say, Garmin, take me to the hot spot. Boop. And then sit back and drink my coffee and smoke my cigar while my Garmin Force takes me there. That's what I'm that's, that's that's what's next for us. But right now, again, I talk a lot, I'm gonna let him do his thing with the new one. And I just wanna let everybody know why we're doing this. We're not just just taking this apart for no good reason. <laughs> It's actually under warranty. Don't tell Minn Kota. So here we go. Uh, we've already taken the prop off, and quite frankly, uh, if you can't get, know how to get the prop off, the, this video may may be a little bit advanced for the average guy. So nonetheless, we have two big bolts that go through this front to back, and uh, typically when we've drained this to pass, we just loosen those bolts up because we didn't want to take it all the way apart and not be able to get it back together especially in the middle of the lake on a good fishing day. But what I'm anticipating on seeing when we open this up is some black, nasty looking water coming out of it. We'll see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look at that. Here we go. We already got some goofy on it. I don't even got the bolts all the way loose. We are already thing losing. That is not supposed to have water in it, my friend. We're losing spotlight fluid. Why are you doing this to me, Minkota? No, no. That's why that thing was doing a thing. I think that thing was doing a thing. Mm -hmm. That's what it, in case you're wondering what that is, that is my princess's bed. And if you got anything you want to say about my little princess, we all have a problem. Princess is his dog, folks. Yeah. That's a lot of water coming out of that thing. Well, I wish you'd note that there's seals on the end of these bolts. They got little O-rings on them. Well, that one's kind of had an O-ring on it at one time. It's kind of still stuck in the hole there. 
Uh, we're, it's something we're definitely going to have to replace. You can see the edge of the O-ring right there. Um, that has to also, if you're rebuilding one of these, make sure you get that old O-ring out or the new one's not going to seal right. That's a smart guy right there, boy. Let me tell you what. Smart enough, I can't get that bolt loose. Well, while he struggles with that, let's go see what the head looks like. Mm -hmm. I guess it's called the head. It looks like a head, but it's dripping water too. How did it get water from here to there? I don't know, man. But it That's had crazy. to have been full here and ran all the way up this shaft. Because there's a wire that runs lengthways. The shaft is hollow inside and your power wire it runs this, runs all down through the center of this. So if this got filled all the way full of water on us, it come up in the shaft as deep as it was in the water, and then when we got the boat up on plane, this water went all the way back down to this head, and we got going our average boating speed. Next thing you know, water's flying out of the end of that trolling motor. And my friends, this is not water cooled. This is not what you want to have. Uh happen to you on the water that's for sure so if you take one of these apart in your shop make sure you got adequate rags and such around because your lot will be drinking water out of these things so we're going to take this head off and uh, just any amount of water coming out of this is not okay none none is good well i got right in front of that camera didn't I? <laughs> oh. oh we need more rags yeah well there let's stop so it's coming out both ends. That sounds like a night I had last weekend. That's what is joke. that? What is that? That's rusty water? No, that's spot lock foot. Yeah, spot lock foot indeed. Is spot lock foot supposed to be chunky, sir? It's actually not chunky. Wow. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So this is the that's transducer that uh, come off the back of it. You see it has that's an O-ring on it too. Let's get some light on that. You got a light? It's kind of dark back here. Where's your light? Man, it just spewed. So these are the bolts go through this long ways and they connect into these two spots. It also has an O-ring up there. That O-ring goes into this mating surface around here, which that all looks all right. One noise that we did have was Yeah. And hey man, that bearing, you might even be able to hear it. Mm. That bearing's bad. It's uh, it's had water in it. It's, it's. Yeah, I can't imagine having all that water on that thing. Is good for the inside of the unit. I would I would imagine they probably greased this thing, and oh look at there look what look, boop. That's not supposed to be there. What happened? What is that? Where'd that come from? It just was sitting right up in here, just like that. Hmm. So it wasn't a bearing rattling around in there. No, no, the bearing's definitely bad. Oh, okay. I mean, so we you need hear it? Bearing. Listen yeah, to it I real close. It. Mm, yeah. Should be making no noise. Yeah, especially for a unit that is, I mean, how old is this thing? A year old, two, two years old, maybe? That's right. I don't know, something like that. Also, that broke off. That's unfortunate. Yank on that, baby. So it's got permanent magnets mm. to link to this thing if you wonder what we're fighting here. Plus this had to go through that shaft seal. But this is just soaked in water. So one thing that you do have in mind is this is a motor with brushes on it. So the brushes run on these right here. And this should be nice shiny copper so then brushes can transfer the energy into this. And, uh, well, when we rebuild this, it will be nice shiny copper again. It's completely rebuildable, what we found so far. Uh, nonetheless, the water in this over time, especially if it was in salt water, this thing would have been a goner. That's really neat, man. Uh, it may be really neat, but it's also re really unfortunate that it happened to my boat and my dead gum chilling water. Mm, Oh, you bad guy. Why you do this to me? There we go. Um, man, I tell you what. <laughs> Mercy. There is just 
an awesome amount of water and rust and corrosion and nastiness on this thing now granted we ran i mean we're hard on fish man we're hard on these things but golly hi tell me tell me why this is all this, this looks so this thing moves and this thing does not move and should all this junk be here yeah you found a problem there these brushes are spring loaded on both sides and they should constantly adjust as they as they make contact um, and and because none of this runs hundred percent true so you get a little wobble from the bearing you got a bronze bushing in there and so these are constantly adjusting uh, as the motor starts and, and it does its work they got nice little springs on them it's made to work so you come over to here and that one does not do anything it's not going in it's not going out so when this achieved enough uh, corrosion on it to make it fail that was the last time it got its adjustment you can see it's got a nice round on it it's even got a lip on there that this one doesn't have so we're definitely going to have to add brushes to it uh, if we were on a lake on a camping trip we'd probably take it off and clean it up with a pocket knife and make it work for the rest of the trip but we're not we want to fix this we, we're not just wanting to repair it today but you can also look in there and see how these wires run up this tube and and we have a, a hollow tube in there and so these wires they run up and down this shaft front to back mm. and uh, something to note on the back of this as we took it apart we had water running out of this head just like we've seen on some of the original videos so yeah like you were saying we got some water we got, we've seen water here Seeing water here. There should not be any water in this thing, right, Hein? No, no. It, this thing water. doesn't sit out in the rain. Um, so we know these, these are the wires that run. This is the other end of the wires we showed you attached to the brushes. Uh, and these are the, the crimps for them. But yeah, this is a hollow tube that runs the length of this. This is a, uh, I guess, a composite material, fiberglass, plastic tube that runs top to bottom on So then we should be able to see, well, yeah, you can't see, but yeah. Uh, with the wires being stuffed in there from this end, you really can't see, but yeah. That tube is hollow, and it's the same tube here. All the wires we were just messing with are inside this tube. And then on this end of the tube, you can see where the wires come out. You see how the tube is kind of hollow in there um, so all the water uh, basically hide that this unit was holding here every time we put it back up into its resting position or riding position or driving position whatever all that water was in here went up that tube all the way up there and that's why when we were when I was when we were driving the other day on Georgetown I was getting splashed in the face with water uh, there was no water to feed and splashed in my face. It's well, all that, coming out of the trailer motor. That's right. We, we, uh, we had a big gym captain in the boat that day, and uh, he took the boat out and stretched his legs a little bit harder than what we probably typically do. And mm -hmm. so we, we obviously don't run fast enough to make the water run up the trailer motor. But mm -hmm. we've seen it happen, and that's why we're here. Yep.